Good evening. Lisa Scafidi has scored a major win in her travel expenses scandal, cleared of more than half of the breaches against her and an 18-month ban from office thrown out. She's now awaiting a new penalty and says she does have plans to resume the role of Lord Mayor. For more than two years, she's been defiant. I couldn't disclose any more if I tried. I look forward to the conclusion of this matter. There are many facts. I'm not able to speak to them while the process is in train. And today, she was somewhat vindicated, successfully appealing 26 breaches against her name, meaning her 18-month disqualification from office was thrown out. This is a win. This is a massive win for Lisa Scafidi. Yes. I'm not going to make any comment. 19 more breaches weren't contended, including failing to declare a BHP-funded $47,000 trip to the Beijing Olympics, meaning the case now returns to the State Administrative Tribunal for a new penalty to be determined. If Lisa Scafidi continues to stand aside until then, it'll be taken into account. She tweeted, I will therefore make a decision as to when to return to my duties as Lord Mayor once I receive some indication from the tribunal as to when a fresh penalty hearing will occur. The Lord Mayor should have resigned from her position long ago. Uh, 19 serious breaches have been sustained and, uh, and acknowledged now by the Court of Appeal. Earlier this year, the SAT declared Miss Scafidi demonstrated gross carelessness when completing her annual returns. But before the Court of Appeal, her lawyer successfully argued that trips to sister cities weren't gifts because if she didn't pay for them, council would have. And accommodation paid for by the Australian Press Council didn't constitute a gift and instead was a legal obligation. In a further win, the state was ordered to pay much of Miss Scafidi's legal costs. And Renee Henry joins us now. Renee, what comes next for Lisa Scafidi? Well, she says she wants the penalty delivered as soon as possible, so much so that she asked to negotiate with the state but was knocked back. So any penalty will have to come from the SAT and realistically that could take weeks, if not months. Her lawyer also indicated today that he would like to present fresh evidence in her favour. So this long-running saga just got even longer, Tim. Renee, thank you.